the most important thing for me is that with my photographer, we come up with a focus. Uh, that dictates everything else we do. So when we're in the car on the way to the story, we start talking about what's the focus of this story. And once we know that, or start to arrive at that, that kind of usually dictates how we are going to open the story and close the story, because that all ties into the focus of the story. So how do you make that concept real world? Um, if we're covering a protest, what is it that this protest represents? Maybe that will be our focus. Um, if the thing unravels and and the police move in, um, what it, at its essence happened, then that's our focus. And then that in turn determines how I'm going to start the story and how I'm going to close the story. And you actually will sort of s almost speak the line, the focus line. You'll, you'll let the viewer in on that mm -hmm. near the top. Yeah, exactly. Um, or I'll try to get the viewer leaning in that direction. So uh, we'll talk, well, the, the focus is, uh, you know, in, the police have taken away or are enforcing, um, or, or, or people have maybe have lost rights as they perceive it in this protest. Well, then I'm going to start the viewer leaning in that direction even before we see the police enforcement through a line that I might write. Um, and if it's a hard news story or a feature story, that's usually, that, you usually use the same process to try and get the viewer leaning in that direction. It's like we're, we're preparing them to listen to the main point of the story, and we're trying to do that in the opening of the story. Is it anything like the literary technique of foreshadowing? Oh, definitely. Yeah, I, it, it, absolutely it's the same way. Um, and the viewer may not understand where I'm taking them at the beginning of the story, but hopefully I can get them leaning in that way so that they are ready for it when they get there. Uh, there's nothing more unsatisfying to me uh, than watching a story and trying to figure out where it's going. And, and you know, when you think about it, it doesn't just apply to news stories, but you've seen bad movies that it's hard to get your arms around. Where's this thing going? Um, you, uh, you know, there are books that you go I, that you put down after 50 pages because you didn't have a sense. It's not a very satisfying experience if it's not cohesive, and it you know it applies to books, movies. It applies to TV news stories. I think. Do you work hard on closing lines, or do they come easily to you? Oh no, no, it's hard. And I I've admired people in newsrooms that I've worked in who they can just sit down and they can spit out this beautiful copy, and I can't do that. Uh, it's one of the reasons that that I I like to uh, write my story in chunks, and and so I'll try and write the opening in the field. Uh, I feel better going back to the station if I know the opening when I get back to the station, and if I do that, then I can track the opening of the story. So as soon as my photographer has the tape ingested into the Avid, I can go I can go back and track the opening line. And so two hours before the newscast, uh, the photographer is already editing the opening of the story. And everybody who's ever done television knows that it takes three times longer to edit the first 10 seconds of the story than it does to edit the, n the next 45 seconds of the story. So I always feel real good when the it takes the gun away from my head, he's editing the open, and I can sit back and actually work a little harder on crafting good lines. And then he'll, he'll call and say, I need a little more track. Can you give me a little more track? I'll go back and voice a little more. And then I, you know, I've got maybe a half hour to think about the closing line then instead of me you know, working on the, he's still waiting for the entire script. It's now 9 o'clock. And I'm like, oh, please, I don't, I'm not going to finish. You know, that's not real conducive to writing a good closing line in this story. What makes a good closing line? What do you, what do you work on or where are you trying to go at the end? Uh, usually I'm trying to get back to that focus again. I'm looking for... I'm looking for something that ties it all up. Um, sometimes I'm, I'm holding back just a little bit of information as one kind of final surprise in the story. Sometimes that can be a closing line. Uh, I'm looking for something that makes the viewer go, hmm, you know, ain't that the truth? Uh, just to leave them with, with something that, and, and something that says the story's over. Uh, and I think that has a lot to do with the closing shot, some negative action, a feeling that we're now leaving this scene. Um, I think it has to do with the way the story's tracked. 
so that you're slowing down your read at the end and your inflection goes down at the end. And it's kind of like shutting the lights off as you walk out of the room and leaves no doubt in the viewer's mind that this is done. And, you know, it, it doesn't, uh, you don't need to say, boy, do Bird Care 11 News for the viewer to know that it's over. Um, that to me is a good close.